Greetings, my brethren, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is our soon coming King. Let me say thank you so much for your patience, your time, and listening to these devotions and then taking them and sharing them with a friend, with a family member, helping us to get the word across the globe. Who knows what God will do? We're looking at the theme, you have circled this mountain long enough. The children of Israel, God gave them the land of Canaan, but they had to get to Canaan from Egypt so that they can possess the land. The 11 days journey took them some 40 years. Why? Why? Not that God did not want to give it to them in 11 days. God wanted to give it to them in 11 days, but it took them 40 years. Many times we are the ones that cause God blessings to linger on before we receive them. It takes so much time. Charles Wesley, he said, leave no unguarded place, no weakness of the soul. Take every virtue, every grace, and fortify the whole. From strength to strength, go on. Wrestle and fight and pray. Tread all the paws of darkness down and win the well-fought day. You have circled this mountain long enough. What is it that you have in your life that is giving you trouble, that you just have been going around and around, just circling that mountain? We give God praise. We give God thanks for his wonderful blessings to each and every one of us. So what was the reason for the children of Israel to go around in circles. I want to name a few things to you. Number one, God was desiring change in them. Change from what? There's some things about them that God wanted change. And sometimes we do not get our desired blessing. Not that God doesn't want us to have it, but because God desired change in us. And sometimes we are not willing to change. Come with me to Numbers chapter 11. And when the people complained, what did they do? They complained. It displeased the Lord and the Lord heard it. And his anger was kindled and the fire of the Lord burned amongst them and consumed them that were in the uttermost part of the camp. God was desiring change because these people were just complainers. If God do something, they complain. If he didn't do something, they complain. They complain about everything. God hates complainers. And you know what? Their complaining made God angry. Hey, God desired change in us. And one of the things that God hates is when we complain about everything. Not only that they complain, they murmured against God leaders. They murmured against God leaders. You say, Pastor, how you know that? Come with me to chapter 14 of Numbers. And let me read for you verse 1 and verse number 2. And all the congregation lifted up their voice and cried, and the people wept that night. Look at verse 2. And all the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron. And the whole congregation said unto them, Would to God that we had died in the land of Egypt, or would God we had died in the wilderness. Could you imagine? Here is Moses following the Lord and doing what God wanted him to do. He's taking advice from God. And now they are complaining, saying they wish 
that they had stayed down in Egypt and had lost their lives down there, uh, would to God that they had died in the wilderness. God is doing everything for them and they're murmuring and complaining against the leaders of God. Brethren, let me be honest with you. If God place someone over you to be your leader, please encourage. Don't be a discourager because you see, unless you're in it, you don't know how it is. Leaders need to be encouraged. Encourage them. Don't murmur against them. And you know what? Be careful murmuring against your leaders in front of your children. It'll cause your children to lose respect for the, your leaders. And then notice something else. We notice that they were complaining. They murmured against the leaders. They were pressed to go back to Egypt. Come with me to Numbers 14 and read verse 4. And they said one to another, let us make a captain and let us return into Egypt. In other words, let's form a group and rebel against Moses and Aaron, rebel against the leaders and let's go back. Let's not follow him anymore. They requested to go back to Egypt. The scripture says, trust in the Lord with all your heart Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Now, they are failing to trust in God, but they are leaning to their own understanding. But the Bible said that they should not do that, and in their minds, they figure that they would have been better off down in Egypt. So let's go back. Now, there's something else. They wish they had died rather than to be there on their way to the promised land. Look at verse 3 of chapter 14. And wherefore had the Lord brought us unto this land to fall by the sword, that our wives and our children shall be a prey? Were it not better for us to return into Egypt? They wish that they were down there. They are now ready to go back down in Egypt. So they complain, they murmured, they request to go back, they wish they had died. But there's something else that they did in chapter 14 of Numbers, verse 21 and verse number 22. But as truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord, because all those men which have seen my glory and my miracles, which I did in Egypt and in the wilderness, and have tempted me now these ten times, and have not hearkened to my voice. What did they do? Yes, they complained. They murmured against the leaders. They request to go back to Egypt. They wish they had died rather than be there on their way to the promised land. And now they tested God. But if you go down to verse number 26 of chapter 14 and verse number 27, not only that they murmured against Moses, the man of God, but here they are murmuring against God. God himself. Look at verse 26 and verse number 27. And the Lord spake unto Moses and said unto Aaron, saying, How long shall I bear this evil congregation which murmur against me? I have heard the murmuring of the children of Israel which they murmur against me. It is one thing for you to talk bad about a person, but it is something else for you to talk bad about the Lord. They murmured against Moses and they murmured against the Lord. My friend, here is my advice to you. Things may not be going the way that you desire for them to go, 
But please, don't be a complainer. Don't be a murmur against God's people. Don't request that you sorry that you gave your life to Christ. Or don't request to go back and live this sinful life. Don't do that. Don't test God and don't murmur against God. Because, hey, if you are murmuring against God, then you are murmuring against the wrong one. Our Father, we are so thankful to you today for your blessed love, your mercy, your grace, and all that you have bestowed upon us. And as we study your word, and as I try to encourage your people, I pray that you will help us to draw from these things and be all that you would have us to be. We love you. We praise you. We thank you. Thank you for everyone. Give them a good day today. Meet their needs. Help them to understand as they even turn to the scriptures themselves and see these things that they will be stronger in you in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you. Love you all. Do have a great day.